Hello, viewers, and welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Uh, it's been a while since I last played, but I figured it's about time for me to continue, so I will. Um, I... Where the fuck were we? Oh my god, we're still trying to save her. We changed her fate in the last video. Um, and this one I'm gonna try and, uh, continue to change it, I suppose. Well, I guess the phone's dead now, too. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady's a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. No! Anything but Missile. That was his name, right? It's been a long time. Anyway, something is happening to Lynn. I'd better help Camilla find her treasure. Hmm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what, but I don't seem to remember what a music box is exactly. It's a box that plays music. I feel like it's up there. Yeah, it's that. Um... God, I'm going to remember the controls. Uh... Wow. I'm going to have to remember how the fuck to find... or to... to play. I do see I can go in it, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, I can't quite reach it from here, though. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait. Can I communicate with her? I forgot how this shit works. No, I can't. Even though I could have sworn I saw an orb inside her. Um, oh, it's missile that I'm thinking of. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, but she's, he's gonna follow her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I'll figure this out. I'll figure this out. Uh, is there a point to talking to him, though? It's like, this is your chance to shine. Me? What do you mean? You can really help her out right now with that great nose of yours. Oh, you're right. I didn't think of that. I don't know if, I don't know if dogs can sniff out inanimate objects, could they? Oh, uh, I don't really know. Oh. Hey, come on. You can't expect me to do everything for you. That's okay. Don't feel too bad about it. I'm being consoled by a dog. Ah. Uh... Yeah, unfortunately, he's not going to be very helpful uh, right now, it doesn't seem like. I, I can't reach that, right? I can't. Um... Oh, God. I'm probably missing something obvious because I decided to take a break right in the middle of this segment. Maybe I shouldn't do that if I can help it. Oh, she's... Okay. Yep. Hey, wait a minute. That car just moved, didn't it? I always thought so, but that's just proving it. This apartment building is haunted. Leaning to one side. <laughs> Come on. Well, this little lady knows how to keep me on the edge of my seat. That's the dog again. Um. What if I just open on her? Eh. <laughs> she doesn't care. Uh, oh no. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do, guys. The phone's dead, so I probably can't dial. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, wow, I don't know what to do, guys. Um... Well, now it's leaning to both sides. Prove that. The cart moved just out, didn't it? I'm telling you, it's building wings to one side. Ever since that lady moved in next door. How does that explain it rolling in both directions? Alright. Well, she mentioned the lady next door, and then the text was highlighted, so I can't help but wonder... Um... If they're related, somehow. Okay, rocking doesn't do shit. Do I make the dog bark more to annoy the lady? Uh-oh. What? I oh, she's looking for the box. Um... Wow, I truly don't know how to do this. I mean, like, uh-oh, right? Uh... I don't think I've ever made this thing go faster in my entire life, so maybe this actually does something. Oh my god, it lifts up. 
Ah, okay, so from now on, I'm just gonna test what everything does, even if I don't think it's helpful in the moment, just so I can have that knowledge. I think that would be smart for me. Boop. That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box that we're looking for. I bet the little lady will know it when she sees it. We're really close now. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to time this. Jesus. Oh my god, I did it at the exact furthest point for me. Oh, this is really hard to time. Wait. Okay. Uh, also, you can slow down now. Yeah. Bet. Alright. Uh, I can play the ornament. That'll catch your attention. Look, 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 right in front of you! Oh, the dog noticed. Good. This is it. The music box. Yeah. Yippee! <laughs> yeah. That's a huge remote. I'll leave the remote here, but don't you touch it, Missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you planting underneath that wall when I come home. Bark, bark. Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away and no barking. Okay, starting now, I guess. That beat. So cute. Still no peace for the little lady, and the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the, receivers, with the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess make the dog bark. That's my theory. Also, I've ended each of these videos right before the chapter ends. Like, I gotta get better at that. I just thought that was gonna be like a halfway point of the chapter, not actually the end of the chapter. That's why I stopped when I did. Um, see if we current place in time. Uh. Okay. It makes me nervous having only one save file when I'm doing a let's play in case something fucks up. Um. So I think next time I just won't save, and then the autosave can carry me. That makes sense, right? I don't know. I'd rather have to replay level than, um... Than miss recording something that I did blind, you know what I mean? Uh... Yeah, chapter 3, I mean, let's go. Because it autosaved to chapter 3, I didn't need to manual save. Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it, too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. Alright. With the telephone in this apartment being out of service, my only hope for escape is to find another telephone. The neighbors. No Mr. Desk Lamp here. The only friend I have to talk to is that nice little dog he curled up there on the floor. I guess we gotta convince him to bark. Oh no, I can turn the TV on! And then he'll bark. Do it. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. This lady. I'll knock this wall down. Rah! Yeah, she has a phone! That's what I wanted to hear. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you. Oh, God. I like her little, uh... Um, her goose... thing. Um, did you hear what I just heard? You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking this wall down? I'm a ghost. Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she was mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. She's not actually going to break the wall down, is she? God, 
I gotta get better at the timing, dude. This. Um, I don't think I need a hint right now. Well, maybe I do. Oh, I'm so close. Ah. These two things are certain. There's a telephone in the apartment next door, and I have to create a path to get there somehow. Should I keep barking? If you keep that up, I'll knock this wall down. I mean, if that's true to her word, we might be able to change the situation. I don't know why I added words into that. I just want to avoid the whole getting crushed part, though, if you don't mind. I think you're far away enough. I had to do something to change the situation. If I can create just a little more racket somehow. Eh. Okay, that was not the answer. Um. And turn on the Christmas tree. <laughs> He's freaking out. Oh, I love it. I really like the dog. It's it's cute. Wow, she's wow. How's the bottle not breaking? Oh my god, he went flying. Get up. How is she so strong? I told you, didn't I? I would Oh fuck. I told you I would knock the wall down on you. Cheers. You didn't actually do it though. So this is what it feels like when you have a wall knocked down on you, huh? That's not... It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? Yeah, we want to save your life again, thankfully. You are... You are, but the TV and the star ornament aren't. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live. It's so... Aw. It's so cute. But wait a minute, it looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Huh? I can possess the bottle now! The barking made her create a path for me. It did, but the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths. Dude, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, the painting fell. Okay, nice. Cool. Well, now I'm in a new apartment building. Holy shit. Just like that. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're going to save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? I have to follow my own mystery first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along the way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm going to find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too. Recreate our own paths, right, Missile? That's right. Dude, I oh, this is, oh, this is so cute. Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it. You know what, Sissel? I'm going to create my own path, just like you said. <laughs> okay, okay, but don't leave the house. Okay. Uh, oh, well, you can't. Um... Maybe, uh, is he gonna be okay? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. What? All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is... Mus muses. Muses? How do you say that word? There's this bottle and some cheese. Here's the, to the boorish people next door. She has a weird vocabulary. Someone sneezing. Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Weird. Um. Well, uh, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly tense air of this place, anyway? Now, where's that little treasure I'm looking for? Is someone in the bed sick? There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not going to be able to resist making this thing rock, so I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I love those things. Even now, Lin's life is in danger. I have to use that phone fast. I'm sorry, I'm goofing off and time is of the essence. 
I can't very well make it that I can't very well make that woman bring it to me. I guess I'll have to find a way over there myself. Yeah, there's a mouse. Maybe he'll fall through if I open it. Oh, he did. I gotta spook the mouse. Go! Oh my god. I gotta do this next. Ah, uh, there's a dictionary here. That's kinda weird. Might as well look at it. This thing's too heavy. I can't manipulate it. Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. Okay, noted. That's weird. Oh, come on. I want the windmill. Somersault. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. I'm a married woman. Is she, like, writing a scandalous, uh, novel? And I'm a married man. This is the voice of the, uh, the Prime Minister, not, not the woman. But we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you? <laughs> Even if it means my ultimate ruination, this is so funny. Hmm. Ruination, is that even a word? She's gonna look it up! And that advocate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag me until I'm sure. She's, she's gonna go to the dictionary, but like, do I need to be in place for something? Oh, I can ride it! She'll take it over to the typewriter. Where is that dictionary? Look down! Let's see. I know I put it here somewhere. Now, where could it have gone to? Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I guess the mouse can draw her attention to it. But before anything happens, I should get in the book. I just can't find it. Oh! Oh my god, look at her typing! That's so funny. Okay, so I need to... I need to time the rat better. She, okay, she can come over. Um, uh, do I do it now? Yeah, okay, that's going to work. Oh, but I gotta get in the book. Eh, okay, I'm ready. Take me. Wahoo! But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Ah. Whoever's in that bed hid the dictionary. Perhaps my darling angel? Okay. Her hair looks like a, a rose that's blossoming. Ah. Uh, I can turn the knob on the lamp. I don't see how that would help. Is this open? Can I examine it? She brought the dictionary all the way over here to look something up. Yeah, regardless, here it sits, all alone. Either she forgot what she wanted to look up, or she forgot she even wanted to look anything up in the first place. Irregardless. Hmm, is irregardless really a word? Hey, he was thinking the same exact thing I was. Personally, I would have gone with regardless there. Um, but I know there's some weird tricks. Oh god, what was it? It was like... The fact that flammable... Means the exact same thing as inflammable. So weird. You'd think it'd be opposite. Anyway. Um, turn knob. I can turn the light off. Oh, hello! What is it, my darling angel? I, I don't want to do a child's voice. Oh, my head hurts, mama. That's it. That's all we're getting. You poor dear. And no wonder, with a fever of 102. Here's to a night of fever, hotter than my the love of my prime minister. Stop. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute, I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Now especially, if I ever don't want to go, I just don't go, and I pretend I did. <laughs> I go play with Camilla next door or something. Ah, they're friends. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. She's toasting everything. 
Hey, today's Papa's birthday. How is it? Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. Now Mama has to go back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. Mama, wait! Okay. <laughs> I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Oh, wow. Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. Um... That would be weird. Mm. If she's, like, writing self-insert stories about her romance with the Prime Minister, I'd be like, okay, that's kind of weird. As, if I were her husband. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Now, now, it's time for a good little girl to, girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. Something about this game, I like... I hate you, Mama! Holy shit! And she cheered to that. Did you see that? Update the phone book. Something about this game, I, I misread the text a lot, I've noticed. Which isn't as common um, with other games, I feel. <laughs> the other Hitman. Oh my god, there's a lot of updates. Should I be reading these? I feel like it'll just be information I know. I'm skimming it. Dude, none of the- even- even the characters we know the name for, they're not giving me the name. That's so funny. Cause we know- we know Lynn, we know Camilla, we know... Um... This guy, Nearsighted Jigo. They have like little code names, I guess. Feverish Firecracker? I mean, that's kinda cool. Anyway, um... These two are quite a pair. The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them. It sounds like their family circumstances are pretty complicated. I wonder if I had a family. Maybe. I don't know. She's gonna turn the light on to continue typing. I don't really understand how that helps. Oh my, the lamp is out. Yeah. I'm sorry, did she just light that with her ass? I didn't need to see that. My darling lady, to think that you were a spy all along. Oh, plot twist. What are you going to do to me, Mr. Prime Minister? I will arrest you and make sure you receive the proper penalty. Your sentence? To be imprisoned in my cell of love and punished with my whip of passion. Oh my god. Oh, Mr. Prime Minister. Oh, my dear lady. Hmm. I'd hate to live in this Prime Minister's country. Okay, oh, would you though? It seems like your fantasy. You sick little. Okay. Um. I mean, the only things I can possess right now are the dictionary and the fucking the lamp. I mean, if I turn off again, maybe she'll be out of matches. What's going on? Oh, I made a typo! Oh, she's crumbling up! Oh! Ah, oh, that was my chance! Ah! The telephone is right over there. If only I could get to it. I just need to jump over there somehow. I better keep my eyes open for just the right timing to make a move. Alright, so I'll turn this off, and then before she reacts to it, I'll possess the typewriter. I'm gonna have to watch this again, aren't I? Wow. That makes no fucking sense. What is her dress made of? Alright, um... Oh, but I can't possess the typewriter. Oh, I'm gonna have to possess the page as it's flying? Are you fucking serious? Or I can just do it when she picks it up, okay. Yeet me. Yay! Uh, woke her up. You're lying down on, like, part of her story. Ah! Okay, uh, that's fine. Um, I can tip. I can open the wastebasket? What do you mean, open? 
Oh, it's one of those pedal ones. Okay. Um, so when that's at the height of its jump, maybe I can... Yeah! Oh, but I kind of wanted to explore the other options. Hello? Is... Oh, no, wait. Fuck. He wouldn't be the one saying hello. He's the one making the call. Sorry. Hello, is that you? Wait, he is the one! Y you called her! How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is that holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you. Change your mind and come home to me. Is that the w is that- I almost said is that the wife. Is that the husband? I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please, put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever. What is this drama I'm, like, exposed to? Let me talk to Am Amelie. Am is that just a weird way of saying Emily? Uh, am am Amelie. Amelie. Let me talk to Ameli then, at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now, and I won't have you giving her nightmares. I don't want to talk to Papa. <laughs> what the fuck? Now, I don't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer! Uh... Lady Red's apartment, troubled man's office. I have a connection there now. I'm starting to think that maybe these puzzles are going to start branching between different locations, like, to solve them, which is pretty cool. Uh, now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I'd better hurry. Why would, why would Lynn still be at the junkyard, though? Okay, the pendulum's too far for me. And I can't go back to the bin because it's not launching. Uh, okay. Wow, I guess I don't really have any options but to, um... Uh... Travel the phone line. I guess I'll go to the junkyard then, huh? How do I, uh... Okay, how do I do this? I dial, okay. Troubled man's office. I have the option to go there. I guess I should go to the junkyard first, huh? This is very ace attorney. Which probably means I'm going to that man's office eventually, most likely. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. No, who are these people? Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. The lamp's just dancing. And beside them, a certain somebody, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. I still stand by my theory it's like me somehow, just because of the matching color scheme. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Oh, I forgot about the fucking pigeon guy. So weird. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact that Hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. These guys arrested her. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Well, maybe it's because they found her with your dead body? Just a guess. Hmm, I better see what I can find out. I like this guy in the green suit. Funny enough, he reminds me of Mr. Green from Clue character design. Go into the cone, traffic sign, my body, bag. Hmm, he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. 
Oh, come on. I guess I'll just eavesdrop for now. Quite a thing, huh, in this case? Yeah, one of our own. Ah, uh, murderer? Heads will roll over this. I can't. I'm so sorry. And she's a rookie, too. I hear she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't even given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, but I heard she was special. She got strong ties to the Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. <laughs> I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. I love that. Like me? That is so funny. That is, that is so funny that he said that. Oh my god. Why is he blue, by the way? Is he a villain? So far, all the villains have been blue. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. Thank you, doctor. I never would have guessed. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? Why do they want with the what do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or there'll be hell to pay. Hmm. Don't see what that has to do with me. Does he want the body to, like, dispose of evidence or something? I I'm sus of the doctor. Merely because of the, the blue skin. Oh, my dog is dreaming. Hey, puppy. Okay, my dog was dreaming, sorry. Apparently, if your dog is, like, running in their sleep, it means they're having a, a pleasant dream. And if they're barking in their sleep, they're having a stressful dream. So I just kind of gave her a little nug. Nudge, because she was... She's barking. Okay. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. It's probably just a big log for him, but it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. You never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. <laughs> I, it's so... F the comedy is there, dude. Is that Cabanella? Oh, the flourish. Riker. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he's still going. I love him. Ah, oh, the tension of a crime scene. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. I cannot believe. Dude, he's sauntering into the crime scene. He's dancing down the steps. Here we go. Here we are. I like a scarf. Okay, one of those salutes was way more enthusiastic than the other. Evening, boys! How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Hoo-ya! Ah, yeah! Hola, como estas? Okay, sorry. This is the head of the Special Investigation Unit? He seems, uh, unique. That's for sure. Ah, uh, what do I do? I guess I can keep listening to their conversation. Well, here he is, for his big lark. Aren't you going to confront him about it? I'm going to make my report. Uh, yeah, that's about what I figured. Um, okay. There's so many characters. How many voices am I gonna have to do? Do me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Okay, this is a very peculiar looking person. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know what to. I don't know what voice to give this person. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it like a jerk. Going? How's it going? You ask. I'd like to know what's what. I'd like to know what. God. Okay. Let me just shift gears. You'd like to know how it's going. I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average, if I had to say, yes, it's going all right. I apologize, I butchered that. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. You know, I, I wasn't sure of this person's. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes? 
I don't know why I added a question mark. I'm so sorry. Oh! Don't be mean to the, the park guardian or whatever. Ahem. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, I'm glad to hear you made it. The other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Ah, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Oh, I have like two new locations now. That's insane. Now then, sir. If I may make my report, sir. Doc, you hoo Oh, Doc. Talking to me? I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. Anywho, I'd like to see if the suspect... I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. When, sir? I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Hoo-ya! Alright, he's... <laughs> I'm having fun with this guy. Can you tell? Carry on, boys. He's my favorite. Okay. Good luck, sir. Luck's got nothing to do with it, baby. Is what I would imagine he would say in response to that. I, he was really on edge. You can see him relax as soon as the guy left. Whew, that Inspector Capanella. He sure has a strange air about him. You can say that again. And I've never seen anybody use stairs the way he does. I hear he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion the same airy way. And I hear Lynn is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? They're lovers. No, I don't know. So, I mean, I could leave... I could, uh, go to the park, or to, um, the husband's place. Uh, I guess we can go to the troubles, Troubled Man's office since we found that location first. I do like the, the phone line transition. He's really going through it. Are you alright, sir? I'm kidding. I don't know why the first voice that came to my mind for him was the, um... The red-headed, uh, supermarket cashier at, in The Simpsons. With, with the acne. I ordered all of you not to come near me! I beg your pardon, sir. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. But I'd like to be left alone right now. You may go. Yes, sir! Oh boy. Another strange room and another strange person. I wish these telephone lines came with nameplates or something. Sheesh! You're telling me. I can't imagine how this could possibly be helpful for me. Why'd I come here? Why did I come here? Just for the sake of checking it out, I guess. That might be it, dude. Medicine bottle, documents. I can't even examine the documents. Uh, eh. Eh. I can't quite reach anything. Okay, well. So, like, what? Should I just go to the park now? I'm sure something will progress in that office if I, uh, like, trigger a, a progress flag somewhere else, you know what I mean? It appears to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. The 
voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Breeze. This person... You know who this person reminds me of? This is gonna sound random, but I've just been watching One Piece. He reminds me of, um, Bon Clay Clay. Just in the way he, he looks and moves. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site! Protect the park! The Rock of the Gods! Uh, sorry, but could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now, and I don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of a dubious character. A questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think that you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, should we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, alright, but just for a minute. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. Time for an exposition dump. If I can just get over there to eavesdrop. Maybe I can flutter in the breeze. No, I can't. There's literally nothing for me to do here. Ah! Let me move! I, what? What, what, is, what is happening? I want to get over there. There's no way I can... I'm not supposed to be here yet. There's no way. I don't even know if, if I'm supposed to be in the- maybe I'm supposed to go to, like, a much older place. He still appears to be deeply troubled. If he doesn't have any work to do, why doesn't he just go home and go to bed? Maybe the fact he doesn't have any work to do is what has him so deeply troubled. I have quite a bit of work to do myself. I don't know which of us is in a more enviable situation, though. Well, for starters, one of you's dead. I can't imagine... I have no idea, like, what I can do here. Oh no! I'm like, I'm stuck! Why would I go to Lady Red's apartment? Why would I go to Lynn's apartment? Um, maybe I can go back to this, uh, this line doesn't seem to be working. I guess I can't go there right now. What? I guess I can go back to Lady Red's apartment. I'm gonna treat this like Ace Attorney, where I just recheck all the places I've been whenever something significant happens. Still tapping away passionately, I see. She'd type her fingers to the bone to complete her tale of love, I imagine. Or fingers, since she's only using one. The little girl with the fever seems to be sleeping now. I hope she's having sweet dreams. Oh. Mr. Prime Min- Uh-oh. Uh. Hmm, I guess not. This is not- I don't think this is healthy for the child. Um. should be exposed to this at such a young age. Um, oh, that's funny. I can kind of like see her under the blankets in ghost mode. Oh, but I can't go anywhere! Fuck! Lynn's apartments? Am I correct that like if I can't reach anything, there's nothing else I can do in a location? I'm stuck! There's gotta be something else I can do in the, uh, the junkyard. That's my only, like, theory. Maybe I jumped the horse, moving on too quickly to the, um... To the other location. I can listen to the doctor. I think we can pretty safely assume this was a murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol. By the way, I apologize if I change the voice I use for characters, because I promise you I will not remember what I decide on. So don't 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 look for consistency from my voice work here. 
Yep, same model as the pistols your detectives carry around. You don't think it's Lynn's, do you? This is not good. If it is hers, it's all over. So Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What could it all mean? There's no way she killed me, right? Well, okay, this junkyard is bigger than I thought. Can I discharge the pistol? No, but I can examine it. So this is the weapon that took my life. A pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. But I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see, this part right here is... Oh, I, yep. Look at the doctor. Fool, if you want to fire that thing, aim it in your own direction. I, I, I didn't fire it. I, I'm the victim here. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, I guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. I'm sorry, was there a response shot somewhere? Well, what was that? Is that what I think it was? The sound of a gun. Wait, a second gun? I've got a bad feeling about this. Every time that phone rings, it's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first? The ringing of the phone or the crime case? I've literally never heard that riddle before in my entire life. You're making shit up. Um, if you say so. <sighs> okay. Can't hurt to go ahead and listen on yet another conversation. Am I gonna unlock a new area? Looks like it. Ah, there you are! Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? I seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you? The green one or the blue one? You don't remember their voices? Their distinct voices I'm giving them, sir? Huh? Oh, uh, I'm the green one, sir. Listen, Greeny, get that good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it that you'll never wear a green suit again! Hey, yes, sir. I'll set him right up, sir. The horror. Well, now it's like, now I can go. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. Ugh, if I must. What, what's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. That shot sounded like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. I wonder if that's near the soup's office. Who's to say? Not I. Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edges of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting on the other side of the line. Wait, really? Oh, I guess. That's, I guess it's a... A decent theory. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight, but as long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. I wonder if, like, I'll actually get to save myself before this game ends. Were there any sequels to this game? I'm wondering if I should look that up or not. Clear Chapter 3. Hey, am I insane, or was that the shortest chapter yet? Obtained a new background. Ooh! I'll definitely use that. A new song. Okay. New illustration. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, like I said, I, I would prefer to end these videos in between chapters like this. I just feel like that makes the most sense. Um, I'm sure it makes the most sense from a viewing experience too. So yeah, I'll go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I feel like that was an easier chapter, but it was mostly... Not not all, but mostly dialogue, so that, that certainly helped. Uh, but yeah, I'm having fun with this game. I love the humor. The art style is pretty great as well. Um, so I am looking forward to more, and I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.